Hello, my crafty friends. Happy New Year. Welcome back to my channel. This is the first week of January, and we're getting started off with the she load of cards from Call Me Crafty Owl. I'm going to be showing you how I make them in 10 minute segments. And this is the January 2022 sheet load sketch. This is the card that she has laid out for us this time with the cutting guide. This card was inspired by Danny of Danny's Dreams and the Mojo Monday sketch. I love this style of how she does the pattern paper right up to the edge of the mat. It'll be a lot of fun. This month, I'm going to be using some pattern paper that I've had in my stash for a long time. Blooms and Bliss from Stampin' Up! I cut directionally, and so I ended up not quite enough to make two more of these pieces, so I used a different piece that I had. So it'll be a little bit different. I'll be using these flower die cuts. And because mint macaron is my matte color, I thought a lavender would be really cute for the flowers. As you can see on my community post, I showed you a little bit of how the, I'm going to construct this. And this is also something fun. If you recall, last year, this month, as a matter of fact, Alicia of Call Me Crafty Owl put out some sentiments. These are cut up, of course. There's three different kinds. Thank you, happy birthday, and kind of just because. And they're about two and a half by two and a half, which is perfect. She gives you score lines. I printed this out on cardstock. And I just cut out the score lines, more or less. And I got all these sentiments. My plan is, because of the some white space, depending on where the white space is, I'm going to be stamping off and putting a butterfly at the bottom or the top. So I think that'd be cute. And also in the inside of the card. I've gotten into the habit of stamping the inside of the card first before I make the top layer. I have my trusty timer, 10 minutes on the clock, and let's get started. I have my Tombow Snail, and we are going to be using Tranquil Tide and Perfect Plum Inks. I'm going to be using You Are Amazing for the inside. Sorry about that. My channel name is called What It's Called for a reason. <laughs> I don't have a lot of space. And so things fall down. So let's go ahead and get started stamping the inside. This is a regular A2. And we're going to be making portrait style cards. This is portrait style this way, and this is landscape style this way.
These are going to be thank you cards, of course. And I thought that was appropriate. I'm going to be donating them to my church, as I'm sure thank you cards are needed after Christmas. I think it is amazing that people care and share. Probably playing with fire. I should have rolled my sleeves up. <laughs> White shirt. Sentiment is stamped. So let's get started with adding these pieces. Like I said, I love how how you just get the matting peaking on the top and the bottom. I went through two or three uh, styles of pattern paper looking for three. <laughs> it, it, it's difficult because I do have bits and pieces, leftovers, and so I wanted to make sure to get ones that were in a set. sheets, one this side, one that side. Now, because this is the only one I got directional this way, you can certainly do it either way you want, but I wanted directional up and down, so I went ahead, I had to find two other pieces that, that worked, and it's all from the same set. Thank you. 
Okay, there are those. They're gonna go across. Now let's go ahead and place these. And they will do the front of the card. The main five and a quarter by four piece. Oops, of course. And I did not have one put out on the desk. <sighs> Luckily, it does not take that long to switch them out. Okay. Like I said, you can kind of tell when it's starting to get low. That's kind of pretty. Oh, 30 seconds. I think we're doing pretty well. Oh, paste makes waste. There we go. Okay. Okay, come on, stop. Okay. <laughs> there we go. We just have a couple more mat. Almost all the pieces are matted. I will go ahead and stamp the image on the sentiments next time. And do some die cutting of flowers. Again, here's the January 2022nd sheet load of card sketch. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope to see you again real soon. Bye bye.